My name is Rex Krauser. I am the Chief Information Officer of the West Virginia State Treasurer's Office. Back in the uh, early 2000s, uh, EC Council introduced the Certified Ethical Hacker Program, and it was met with a lot of apprehension online. Uh, a lot of people were claiming, how does someone that goes and passes a multiple choice test then call themselves a hacker? Um, while that's true, and it's still true today, it misses the larger point that EC Council was attempting to accomplish. Uh, prior to CEH, in the 80s and the 90s, the mainstream coverage of hacking was always negative. It was very negative, and what EC Council was attempting to do was to get government officials and uh, corporations to identify the fact that there was a need for cybersecurity professionals. And the way that they marketed the program was extremely successful. So throughout the industry, there's large amounts of people that um, owe EC Council a debt of gratitude for the way that they've been able to take the CEH program and make it mainstream. The EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker Program introduces a wide variety of tools and techniques that you may or may not use on a day-to-day -day basis depending on your job. The good part about that is the fact that the cybersecurity industry encompasses every single aspect of IT. There's not one specific subject that's not really covered or touched by cybersecurity in some way, shape, or form. So no matter what your current background in IT, the Certified Ethical Hacker certification from the EC Council will give you the ability to judge for yourself whether cybersecurity is a path that you would like to take with your career. My favorite part of EC Council CEH program was taking the CEH practical exam. Unlike most certifications that require you to take like a multiple choice test, a, a practical exam takes place in a virtualized environment that simulates real world scenarios. Um, you'll get to attack web applications, operating systems, you'll uh, brute force passwords and find and exploit vulnerabilities wherever you can in the environment. I had uh, so much fun taking the test, I probably spent more time uh, discovering the many ways an objective could actually be completed than I, I needed to. It was by far the most fun I've ever had taking a test. Um, once you have uh, completed and passed the CEH practical, uh, as long as you have also completed the regular CEH exam, you'll obtain your uh, Certified Ethical Hacker Master Certification. There, there's one thing that can't be taught, and that's passion. When I'm interviewing prospective employees, I, I usually get around to asking, tell me a little bit about yourself. What, what do you like to do for fun? And um, normally they, they all give the same type of answers. It's, I like to run, or I like to watch sports, or I like to play video games. Um, that doesn't really stand out. The person that stands out is the person that says, that has a background as a network engineer and says, well, currently for fun, I'm, I'm learning how to uh, code in assembly. You know, that's the kind of person you want to hire because they have passion about what they do. Um, for those of us who grew up on Baltimore systems, the information that's contained in the EC Council's uh, programs was very hard to come by. We had to uh, basically search and, and, and fight for every scrap of information that we can, but now, today, you have it available at your fingertips. So don't wait around for somebody to give it to you. Have passion about the industry, indulge yourself in the materials that are available, and be lucky that you are living in an era where you have it so readily available.